stop it but to make people away. Because <laughs> I come. So then I chose to do something else like Welcome to our showcase! <laughs> yeah, you My project is expressing the theme of patterns and one thing I enjoyed is the experience. And there, if you want to add it again. Right now it doesn't work, I don't know why, but it'll, it'll get better. You can also go through exercise. My project was a counter to obesity in the USA. I made an app, a fitness app which could log what, um, what food you ate and what exercise you did to tell you if you've eaten too much or exercised too little. You put in your information and you press get started and you do the rest of it. I learned about coding and resilience. I decided to do about sport photography because I um, wanted to find out about how sport affects people, especially people in poverty. My personal project was to organize a cabaret night for a community theater uh, stage works and I raised $850 and I've learned that um, with, by working together with people, you can achieve really good things. Okay, so my personal project is about yoga and how yoga helps teens cope with stress, anxiety, and depression. Um, I've learned that 20% of the teens ages 13 to 18 suffer from depression and 25% of the teens ages 13 to 18 suffer from anxiety and that yoga can really help you reduce depression and anxiety. Um, this is really useful for like if you're going through exam period or if you're just having a really tough day and you can just sit down do some yoga for 10 to 15 minutes and you'll feel way more relaxed. Um, I'm excited to see the final part and I've also learned a lot in the showcase. I think it was really interesting seeing what people chose. <laughs> okay, so I've created a puzzle project about hunger. My project was to basically, I've created a video to raise awareness about hunger since it's a really prominent issue and one in the six Americans currently are facing hunger. I've learned that it's really hard to create a video and a website. I found it interesting looking at um, how different people interpreted different subjects and I also found it interesting seeing what different people came up with. My project was about animal testing and I just want to make people aware of it and through this uh, people um, need to check their products when they buy them so a lot of people don't understand what products actually test so um, like things like fix you would never think that something that's so highly bought would be testing animals so like campers they use that on babies and like I just want to stop animal cruelty because this is basically a crime and um, also um, a lot of the places don't actually use the res results that they get so aspirin for example they got a negative result from the animals but they still marketed it so all of this cruelty is actually for nothing because they have so much researchers nowadays they don't actually need this result because they already know what they need to be um, looking at and through this I have managed to um, I realized that I can't take time for granted and that every lesson counts and also having your own project different from everyone else's means that um, you don't copy from people and you have your own inspiration like you have so my project is how color changes your mood and how it can change your whole atmosphere and I made this house that well it's not really a house it's a room that um, represents how a color can make the whole atmosphere either sad or happy and I also have this game that whenever um, you see a color you you say the first word that comes to mind and that represents either if you connect with the color or if you don't and I learned how um, how much color influences our day-to-day -day life So my project is 2050 The Game. It is a game that will teach people about global warming and different sustainable and unsustainable things you do every day. I've learned that it can be kind of hard to make games and um, to code 
um, certain things that seem simple but are actually pretty complicated. Which is the eyes or windows to the soul, and that's why her art was really dramatic. So, my question was how do artists portray expression in their art pieces focusing on eyes? And from all the techniques I learned from investigating different artists, I created this, which kind of um, shows like I lived in Indonesia for four years, and it kind of shows the flowers in Bali because I really like that. So, from each artist, I kind of made my own art pieces, and I kind of like um, focused on the technique. So this kind of like shows like bullying and how someone's bullied and how they feel and then um, this was kind of like um, I, in Malaysia, I used to visit there guys. <laughs> so yeah, that was basically it. Yeah. Big right. In front of the lady. Yes, get in there. Well done. Come on, Gus. In front of the ladies. 